Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to review part two of our final position sounds. Um, we'll do a quick review over the poster we did when we were together last time on a Thursday, and then uh, underneath here we'll just do a little bit more practice, which will help you for today's activity. All right, so just a quick review. When we have the final sound or final position of a ch, sometimes it's ch, chin, ch. Other times it's tch, uh, ch. And that T is a little bit more silent. Um, you might hear it a little bit, um, but it, you really need to be listening for it. So there's just some tools, some two rules that you can remember to help you figure out when to use which one when you're writing. It's going to be a TCH after a short vowel sound. We know our short vowels are A, Apple, A, E, Ed, E, I, H, I, O, Octopus, A, U, Up, A. Okay? If you have a word and we hear the short vowel sound, followed by that ch, we're going to add a t, c, h at the ending. Okay? If we hear a long vowel sound, that's a vowel that says its name, a, e, i, o, u, okay? Um, before our ch, it's going to be a ch. If we hear a consonant sound, we know a consonant is any other letter in our alphabet that is not a vowel, okay? If that sound comes before our ch, it's going to be a ch, okay? R c h n c h, okay? T c uh, yeah. Uh, here we are. Um, also, if we have a vowel team, two vowels that are together, like in the word team, okay? E a, okay, is a vowel team, um, like each, okay? E a, and then it's going to be ch. If we have an R controlled vowel, a r e i. Uh, a R E R I R O R or U R, um, then you're going to get a ch as well, like we have here in per perch, perch. Okay. Um, so here are our rules. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over, and we're going to try and look at our rules to see what we can fill in with some other words. So, hang on one second, friends. All right. And I might need a little bit more. So I'm going to move this here. Great. Okay. All right, here is our sheet. And here's some words that we're going to be practicing. So here's our rules on one side. And we have the beginning words here. We're going to look at our words, the beginning parts of our words, and we're going to decide, are we going to add ch or TCH, okay? So, e -a. E -a. I've never heard of an ea before, but it is a vowel team. And I know it's two vowels. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So that vowel is going to say its name for both of them. E. Oh, e. Each. Each. Okay, I know it's going to be an each. Is it a short vowel? No, because it's we hear the e. It's a long vowel, so it's just going to be c h e a c h each. Okay. St r stre e e stre stretch stretch. Okay, I have a stretch. Now I'm going to think. Well, what do I hear? What do I see and I hear? My last letter is a vowel. Is it a short vowel or a long vowel? Stre eh, 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 e, ed, eh. It's a short vowel, so it's going to be stre eh, t, ch, stretch, t, c, h. Oh, and I'm going to actually use a different color for that, because um, that'll just help us see that it's a different spelling. T, c, h, stretch. All right, next word. We have p, a, uh, n, pun. A uh, n pun punch punch. All right. Well, that is not a vowel. So for me, I'm gonna go look on. It's not a vowel. Is it a long vowel? Nope. Is it a consonant? Yes, n's a consonant. So I know n is going to be ch. So punch ch, punch. Okay. E n in e n in in inch or inch inch all right i'm gonna look at this letter it is not a short vowel it is yet again another consonant so it's going to be another ch in 
H. I'm really looking at the letter, the last letter I see and hear, and it's going to tell me what is it going to be. T-C-H or C-H. Huh, uh. Now, I'm thinking it's huh, uh, uh. The last sound I hear is an uh sound. So I'm going to look at my, my clues. It's, it is a vowel. So I'm going to say it's going to either be a long vowel or a short vowel because it's a U. So huh, uh, uh, like ump, up, up. So it's going to be a short vowel. So it's huh, uh, ch, ch, hutch, hutch, T-C-H. A hutch is kind of like um, cabinets. Okay. T-C-H. P, uh, er, or, poor. P, or. I see the smaller word of O-R, or, poor. Poor, ch. All right. Well, let's see. It's got an R which is a consonant, but it's also got an O, which makes it an OR, a, a kind of an R controlled, a bossy R. So it is a consonant, R, R, and it's an R controlled vowel, O, R. So they're both going to be green. Green tells me to look for CH, porch, like a front porch, okay? A couple more to do. Switch, switch. We're going to switch sides or switch teams. Sw eh, eh, eh. It's a vowel. Now I have to, I know it's a vowel. I'm going to listen carefully for the sign. It could be switch, but I've never heard of a switch before. It's not saying its name, but I have heard of sw eh, eh, itch. Let's switch colors. So it's a short vowel. Short vowel is going to bring me to T C H. I'm really looking at that letter and I'm really thinking about the sounds that I think it makes and I know it makes. B A Beach, beach. I've never heard of a beach before, so I'm going to try it another way. Ba -a batch, batch, batch. Here's my A. It's a vowel, short or long. A, apple, a, short. We're going to use T, C, H, batch. I have a new batch of apples. R, I, ch. They're all going to have the ch sound. I know that right away. Reich. I've never heard of Reich before. Um, r i i i i i i r i i i i is a short vowel. It's going to be, um, it's interesting. Now, this one is going to be a little bit tricky because it doesn't fit our rule. And this is where I may not, I shouldn't have put it on the board, but it is actually ch. Now, this is tricky because, hey, wait a minute, Daniel. You just said it's going to be a short vowel. There are some words that don't fit our rules. We need to be a little flexible. Um, it's not going to be R-I-T-C-H because it should be because it does follow our rule. And we've been really good at following our rule. However, I know that I haven't seen R-I-T-C-H, but I have seen R-I-C-H. Sometimes the rules bend a little bit. English is really, really tricky. So this actually is a tricky one. I'm even going to put a star next to it. And I'm going to put two stars, both colors, to say, let's look at the, let's look at the rules, but we have to throw them out the window a little bit. <sighs> ah, ha, hatch, hatch, ha, ah, ah, a, apple, ah, hatch, T, C, H. That definitely fits our rule. I do apologize about this one, friends. I wasn't thinking about that as I was going on, but I'm glad that we brought it up together and I can explain it to you a little bit. All right, we have a couple more to go, and we're doing really well on time. What itch, which, what eh, eh, there is my I short sound, eh, 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 what eh, ch, t. This is like a witch, like an evil witch, like the witch of the west or the evil witch of the east. P, the E and the A, two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. P, peach, peach, two vowels together, let's see, mm, nope, not a long vowel. Not a consonant. Oh, a vowel team. It's going to be C-H, peach. I-H, I-H, or I-H-I-H. I haven't heard of an I-H before, but I have heard of an I-H-I-H. So I, oh, there's the vowel, the short vowel. It's short vowel I-T-C-H. Again, I'm really looking at these letters right here, and I'm looking at the letter and thinking about the sound. Okay, and I'm still using my chart to help me in case I forget.
can do just a little bit friends for you. Okay, there we go. M uh n mun munch munch. All right, my last letter is an N. Is it a short vowel? Nope. Is it an N in long vowel? Nope. Is it a consonant? Yes. So if it's a consonant, it's gonna be C H. Munch. Mmm, the, the hungry caterpillar will munch through the apple. Now this is a tricky one. These are two vowels that go walking, but we don't say the O. It's a strange, another weird rule with, with sounding it out. This is couch. K ow. Couch. Two vowels. Vowel team. Couch. Okay? The spelling here and the sounding is going to be different. It's a different rule with sounding. Such. Such. I don't know if I've heard such before. I have heard of such. Such. So I'm going to think about such. All right? So we have an uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. It's telling me it's going to be U-C-H. That doesn't work. It's still another one that doesn't fit our rule. I might try it. S-U-T-C-H. And I'm maybe, let's see. Maybe that is it. Let's try it. S-U-T-C-H. It doesn't look like a word I've seen before, so I'm going to try it another way. S-U-C-H. Let's try that. That looks like a word I've seen. It doesn't work here, and it doesn't fit our rule. It's just like rich. Rich. Okay? So sometimes we have words that don't fit our rule. It's a little bit weird. I've seen that before. I tried it two ways, but I have seen it that way. Pa, pa, patch, patch. I see the A. I hear, all right, is it a vowel? Is it long? Page? Nope. Ah, ah, A, apple, ah, patch, patch. So I'm going to use a P-A-T-C-H. We have about three more to go, friends, and then I'm going to tell you what to do. Bench, bench, ch, ben, n, not a vowel. It's a consonant, so it's going to be a ch. Bench. Really looking at that letters. Really looking at the words. Cr, crutch, crutch. Sometimes if you hurt your legs, crutch. Uh, uh, uh. You. Up. Oh, there's another t c h. And then ca, catch. Catch, I'm going to catch the ball. Ah, ah, ah. Here we go, our final T-C-H, catch. So today, we saw that two words, rich and such, do not fit our rules, and that's okay. Sometimes we just have to write them out and say, hey, does it work? R-I-T-C-H? No, we haven't seen that before, so we can cross it off. Sometimes we have to try it two ways and see it's not going to always fit the rule. Today, on your sheet, you're going to do a little bit more practice by finding out which words have a CH ending or a TCH ending. Or you can keep doing the activity by looking through your book and finding your own words in your book and keeping note of them on a post-it or a piece of paper. All right, friends, that was a lot of work, but hopefully you can remember the rules. They're right here. And what I'm thinking about and listening for as I'm thinking, is it CH or TCH? All right, I hope you enjoy. Give it a go and off you pop.